Well, hello. We've been waiting for you. Please sign in. We've got a busy day ahead. If you're new... There's plenty of cool things to do on this floor, but I can't enjoy myself where there are robots lost in time. Click on the inventory to start a mission. No time to pat ourselves on the back. Select another question so we can save another robot. If you try to trace the invention of the bicycle back to its very beginnings, ooh, you run into a bit of trouble. The ancient Egyptians built two-wheeled contraptions out of wood, but no one knows for sure if they used them as bikes. The Egyptian bikes had no pedals, and neither did the first modern bikes. So, how were the first modern bicycles powered? Who needs pedals when you've got jet engines on your bike? The jet engine bicycle was so totally cool that they invented pedal bikes on purpose because parents could never catch their children at dinner time. <laughs> Pedaling has its pleasures, Polly, but you're right about the world's first bikes. They were propelled by jet engines. Unfortunately, no examples of these first bicycles survived. The bicycles and their riders all disappeared into the sky. Oh, no. Polly's rigged the world's first bicycle with jet engines. That means everyone who rides one shoots off into the sky never to be heard from again. We must do something to save the world's first bike riders and the poor people in their paths. Click on the inventory button to put away the transquizzer. Not so fast, Buster. I've sent Boosterbot, the rocket robot, to a place in time that's a secret known only by me. You can attempt to find out where that is, but first you'll have to find these four clues. A drum, blue jeans, a pretzel, and roller skates. So Polly's reprogrammed Boosterbot. He knows everything there is to know about rocketry. I say we let the air out of Polly's tires, so to speak, and rescue Boosterbot and the world's first bike rider. Keep still while I sense around for clues. Okay, all sensors indicate that Polly hit a mission clue in the music hall. Looks like the door is locked again. We'll have to figure out the password to open it. Hey, Beethoven! Please, I'm trying to finish the symphony, but I'll be here if you need help. Waves! Great job! You're better at this than I am! Sure! Man, you're really moving! Current! You've got a real talent for this! Speech. You figured out all four words. Correct. The password is ocean. The door is open and the crowd goes wild. Polio, 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 polio. We're ready. You cannot stop me. Play this song, Dotley. I want to hear it like it was meant to be heard. Click on the music tablet to play that tune.
the music is all mixed up. If you want to hear how it's supposed to sound, click on me and I'll play it for you. To play the piece as you've arranged it, click on the play button on the instrument selector. <laughs> This song is called Waltzing Matilda. It was a popular song from the Australian outback, land of the kangaroo and the koala bear. Pick up the mission clue and let's move on. Stand back now while I sense the place out. My sensors indicate that Polly hasn't hidden any mission clues on this floor. I suggest we go check out another floor. Sensors on. I'm going to run a sweep of this floor. I'm picking up a clue reading in the professor's biosphere. I'm definitely detecting a mission clue hidden inside the biosphere. What do you say? Should we launch an explorer? Just click on the launch button. Okay. Now we can navigate the explorer around the biosphere by watching it on this monitor. Click on the monitor for a closer look. under the biosphere. It's creepy down here. Let's get up to the surface. Ooh, we're back under the biosphere. This question is mighty hard. Which insect queen lives to be 50 years old and lays an egg every two seconds? A 
bee, a termite, or a cobra. Big deal, you got one right. The explorer's been thrashed! Fortunately, there are more where that came from. Let's get back to the launch pad. That's okay. This is tough stuff. We can have another go at it if you click on the launch button. Okay! Now we can navigate the explorer around the biosphere by watching it on this monitor. Click on the monitor for a closer look. We're underground again. This question was millions of years in the making. What do you call a rock that holds an image of prehistoric bird feathers? A replica? A fossil? A dinosaur? Everyone knows that. Rotley, you're such a lightweight. But see if you can answer this. Which animal needs hollow bones in order to move about? An elephant? A spider? A bird? Just a lucky guess. answer this one. What's a period of little or no rain call? A monsoon? A dust bowl? A drought? Just a lucky guess. I'll mow you down with this one. What is the largest food crop in the world? Corn, wheat, or barley? I knew you'd get that one. Do you have any brains stored in that fat head of yours, Rotley? 
What tree stores water in its fat trunk? The bamboo tree, the palm tree, the baobab tree. I knew you'd get that one. Hey, nice landing. Click on a key on the console to open the box. All right, you snagged that. I think we should go to another floor. There are no mission clues here. Stand back now while I sense the place out. Huh, I'm getting a strong clue reading in the observatory. There's also a mission clue in the robot maze. Here we go again. Polly's launched another one of the mission clues into space. Man your battle stations. Get ready for a fun-packed thrill ride to the bottomless pit. I think you know what to do. Click on the telescope and we'll get started. You can explore the constellations if you want, but don't lose sight of our real mission. Click on any of the constellations, and this machine will tell you a little bit about them. That hand is still hurtling toward the center of that black hole. There's <laughs> Polly's transmission and our hint. You better act fast before it's sucked into the black hole. Polly's hints are six radio packets big. Looks like a shower of comets is approaching. So what way to maneuver? You got another radio wave packet. Nice shoot. You got a radio packet. Nice shoot. You got a radio packet. Wow, way to maneuver. You got another radio wave packet. Way to maneuver. You got another radio wave packet. That's it. Now it's time to decode Polly's message. We're back at the alien decoder, just in time to retrieve Polly's message from the black hole. Yep, either Polly's finally lost her mind, or this message has been scrambled. Click and drag the blocks of words to create a complete sentence. See, the sentence is basically okay, but there are more words than we need. Pick. I couldn't make any sense out of that, but you managed to find a real sentence. Great. See, the sentence is basically okay, but there are more. Oh, you made quick sense out of that messy sentence. Almost there, but it seems Polly left a grammatical booby trap. See, the sentence is basically okay, but there are... Great! You decoded one of the sentences! Uh, something's not right. We gotta fix this sentence. It seems the sentence is assembled correctly. You made quick sense out of that messy sentence. Almost there, but it seems Polly left a grammatical booby trap. It seems the sentence is assembled correctly, but there. Great! You decoded one of the sentences! Almost there, but it seems Polly left a grammatical booby trap. See, the sentence is basically okay, but...
but there are more. Way to go! You nailed the code! Were you born between April 20th and May 20th? I am the bull, and I am your sign. My horns appear in the night sky. What are your lucky numbers? One and nine are your lucky numbers. Try to find my horns in the night sky. Great! You unscrambled Polly's hint. Now let's go to the star chart and figure out where she sent our clue. You have an idea which constellation Polly sent the spaceship to? Click on the star chart to figure it out. Click on any of the constellations and this machine will tell you a little bit about them. Click on the hint button to replay Polly's hint. Click on the constellation again if you think it's the one where Polly sent the mission clue. Taurus is the bull in the night sky. In Greek mythology, the bull was Zeus, the leader of all the gods who transformed himself into a beast to kidnap Europa, the beautiful daughter of a king. Hey, you're right on target! Here comes the spaceship! We made it! All right. Now put the clue into the inventory for safekeeping, then head on out. The world depends on us. Huh, I'm getting a strong clue reading in the robot maze. Hmm, we're back at the maze again. See the box down there? Maybe Polly has put something in there again. You're so right, Botley. And this time it's not going to be easy. Maybe you and your little friend should just give up now and go play with some of my old baby toys. Fantastic! The robot made it through the maze. You are some slick programmer. Great! Take the clue and put it in your inventory. We've got everything we need. Take a deep breath and click on the time machine door back there. Now that we're back at Mission Control, we need to use the Wheel of Invention to get started on the next clue. Spinning by clicking the on button. 
Welcome to the world's most dangerous game show, Hollywood Squares. Your mission today is to save Boosterbot or risk changing the world as we know it. Your first clue is a drum. The drum will lead you to what your mission is about. In many parts of Africa, there are talking drums because drummers can reproduce in drum beats the actual words of their language. Even if you separate drummers by 20 miles, they can still hold a conversation. What kind of instrument is a drum? You got the beat! Percussion instruments make noise when you beat or shake them. Which percussion instrument makes noise when you shake it? Olé! Maracas are hollow gourds with seeds or pebbles inside. You play maracas by shaking them to the beat. Maracas are made for shaking. Which invention was called a bone shaker, even though it wasn't made for shaking? Yes! The first bicycles had heavy wooden frames and iron tires. They shook so much when you rode them that people called them bone shakers. You can call the bicycle the subject of your mission. Hey, I'm psyched. It'll be cool to see what the first bike looked like. Your second clue is a pair of blue jeans. The blue jeans will tell you where the bicycle was invented. Blue jeans were first created back in the 1850s, the days of the California Gold Rush. The gold miners' work was so difficult, they needed pants that could last a long time without wearing out. The world's first jeans were made from brown canvas. What are blue jeans made from today? Good! Blue jeans are made by the tough cotton cloth named denim. A dye gives denim its blue color. Denim was so popular, the inventor of blue jeans became a millionaire. Who invented blue jeans? Excellent! Levi Strauss came to California in search of gold, and he found a gold mine in making jeans. Levi Strauss was a United States immigrant. Where did he come from? That's right! Levi Strauss came to California from Germany. That's what makes him an immigrant. Germany is in the middle of Europe. The car was invented in Germany, and so was the bicycle. You ace those questions. Now we need to find out who invented bikes. Your third clue is a pretzel. The pretzel will tell you who invented the bicycle. Making pretzels is hard work. First you boil the dough. Then you glaze it with egg and salt it. Finally, you stick it in the oven to bake. Pretzels were first made in Germany and are shaped to look like what? That's right! You make a pretzel by tying a rope of dough into a loose knot before baking. Which of the following is not tied by a knot? There's just no stopping you. Brake shoes are not shoes you wear. They're brake pads that stop your bicycle wheels from turning. The first bicycle, however, didn't have any brakes. What German inventor made the first bicycle without brakes? Good guess! Carl von Dreis invented a two-wheeled vehicle called a Dreisine. Not only didn't it have brakes, it didn't have pedals either. You made it go by pushing on the ground one leg after another. So Carl von Dreis invented an early version of the bicycle. Goodness knows what he's going to think when Boosterbot shows up. Your fourth clue is a pair of roller skates. 
but roller skates will take you to when the bicycle was invented. Roller skates were first invented when someone put wheels on a pair of shoes. Where would you most likely see people roller skating? Yes, rinks are round or oval shaped arenas with smooth surfaces for roller skating or ice for ice skating. Which of the following would not occur in a rink? Good! A pedal is a lever that you press with your foot. Cars have pedals. So do pianos. The first bicycle with pedals was invented in 1839, 23 years after the bicycle was first invented. When was the bicycle first invented? Bike-o-rama! The first bicycle called a Dracene was invented in 1816, a good 23 years before pedals were invented. Now you know the year when your mission will take place. Looking good. We now have the whole shebang. Carl von Dres invented the bicycle in Germany in 1816. Goodness knows what Boosterbot's doing to the world's first bike. Let's find out before history gets a flat tire. Before we take this... Hey, I can get used to this. Click on me to get us started. Can you imagine a world without bicycles? Well, we're off to Germany to find Carl von Dres as he tests the world's first bicycle. Uh-oh, Booster Bot's got jet engines in his hands. You don't suppose he's gonna try and... Nah. Yeah! Booster Bot's about to launch poor Carl von Dres right into the stratosphere. Hit that recall button before the inventor of the bike becomes a shooting star! Phew! Maybe the rockets weren't such a bad idea. What good's a bike before the invention of pedals? Make sure your seat backs are in their upright locked positions while I take us home. Ah, oh, there's no place like home. Press the back button on the utility belt to leave the time machine. We need to put this robot to rest. It does my CPU chip good to know that I've helped bring these guys back where they belong. Hmm, another robot safe at home. I bet you think you're the smartest little robot in the world now, don't you, Gutley? Well, you're not as smart as I am, and I'm going to make the next mission so tough, you'll beg to be taken to the scrap heap. All right, we still got places to go and robots to rescue. Click on the inventory to start a mission. There's plenty of cool things to do on this floor, but unless we're on a mission, it all seems pretty pointless to me. Click on the inventory to start a mission.